Kia ora, OMG Tech Bano. It's Fire Zoe here, bringing you another episode of Scratch Junior. Scratch Junior is an amazing app that teaches you how to code. Let's start by opening the Scratch Junior app. You should have this screen. We click on the house button, and then you come to your project screen. This is where any of the projects you've made before will be stored. You can share your projects with me as well. I love to play them. Now. We're going to push on the plus screen, plus button, to start a new game. Then when we get there, we'll go to the top right hand corner and name our game. Once we've named it, we can click on the plus. In our last video, we learned how to add extra characters. This time, we're going to learn how to make all of our characters move about. We're going to learn how to start all of our characters using the same trigger. Triggers are a new drawer in our pencil base that we haven't used yet. We'll do some things using the green flag trigger in the end blocks in our programs. But before we start coding, Let's play a game! It would be great if you had a parent with you for this, then you can pause and play yourself. But for now, when I say go, I want everyone to do what I say. And when I say stop, I want you to stop. Okay? Great. When I say go, I want you to clap your hands. Go! Stop! Stop! Great work! <laughs> now this time, if there's two of you or more, I'm going to split you up. If you have an adult or other person with you at home, they're going to do one of the things I ask, and you will do the other. So, one person, either you or the other person, will clap their hands, and the other one is going to tap their head. You need to decide which is doing which. One person will be clapping their hands, and the other will be tapping their head. When I say go. Ready? Go! Stop! Great work! If you want to pause the video now and see if you can make up some other things to do like this at home, give it a go now. Great! Now we've learned about how we can start and stop. We're going to learn about how to do it in Scratch Junior. We do this using the green flag block and the end block. These are trigger blocks and they live in the yellow drawer. You can use them to say when a script or sequence or series of controls should run. You can always run a script by tapping on it, but if you select start on the green flag, you can also run the script by tapping on the green flag at the top of the screen. This makes it more like a game and allows us to start the script in more than one character at a time. Follow along with me. We're going to get a green flag block out of the yellow drawer and drag it down. Now, if you put the green flag triggering block at the beginning of the script, and when you tap the green flag at the top of the script, the characters will first reset themselves and then they'll start the green flag script. Let's add a script in to see what I mean. Our script is going to make our cat move forward four times. If I tap the green flag, it moves forward four times. Every time I tap it, it goes back to the beginning, but if I tap it in the script, it stays where it is. Just remember, always use the flag at the top. Now, we're going to try and make more than one character move using our green flag. We'll need to add a second character into our scratch program, and we'll also see how we can make it move as well. Remember, go to our character area, Click on the plus, choose a second character, double click on it, 
and we're going to add the same code. We're going to get our green flag and make the second character do stuff on the green flag. Now, what do you think will happen when we click on the green flag? Both of our characters are running their code. It's important to remember that when you delete a character, you delete all of the code that you wrote with it. And if you delete two characters, the block palette may disappear altogether as well, since all the scripts are attached to the character. But don't worry, as soon as you add a new character back in, the block palette will come back. Give it a go now, seeing if you can add some different code in to a couple of characters. Making them all start on the green flag. I have two challenges for you today. Challenge 1. Can you make both your characters do a cool dance at the same time? Do they do the same thing or different things? It's up to you. And challenge number two, can you make your characters meet up with each other on the screen? We'd love if you shared it with us as well to show me how you did it. You can get an adult to email it to me on omgtv at omgtech.co.nz and I'll have a play with it and maybe put it up on our website. Simply click on the yellow <coughs> button Click on the four parents link, answer this tricky math question, and then they can share it by email or downloading it. Thanks for tuning in to my Scratch Junior program, and I'll be back next time to teach you some more awesome Scratch Junior stuff. But for now, keep on creating OMG Tech Whanau, and see you next time.